people do by now, is that they pool very little energy. That means that if you're an existing church and you need to retrofit your light, you can go in with existing power that you have and more than likely not need to call an electrician in and modify your power. A few years ago, before LED got big, we were losing a lot of retrofits or a lot of remodels to, to customers, smaller churches, because they would say, okay, I can get my hammer racks, I can get my car cans, I can get my controller, I can afford everything. But then they call an electrician to run all this power, and the electrician would run twice the cost of all the lighting sometimes. Exactly. Now with LEDs, LED is a fixture as one individual piece, and LED can is probably two or three times the price of a regular can. But when you factor in the savings, if you were to factor, okay, let me go conventional, and you call an electrician and say, how much is to, to run all the power? More than likely, the LEDs are going to be more than offsetting the costs, and you'll actually save by going with an LED versus going the traditional way with uh, new electrical. So that's one way LEDs are really saving. The other thing is that LEDs have a, a extremely long lamp life. If you average out a 100,000 hour LED will last you about 20 years, eight hours a day. So if you um, average out the life savings from a lamp, that alone will pay for itself when you don't have to charge, when you don't have to pay for lamp replacement. Some of these um, really high ceiling churches, they can't go and replace the lamps themselves. You need to have somebody come in an electrician with a lift or, or some sort of elevators and the elevator lifts and so forth to change these lamps. So you're saving money there. LEDs also run extremely cool. So when they're running extremely